What is up guys, PhD here, and today we've got another one of these squad builders, and yesterday's one did absolutely incredible guys, so again, if we try and smash 700 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing guys, go ham on the like button, so we're going into it now, it's 150k, this squad altogether, so a lot cheaper than yesterday's, and it's going to be a hybrid between the leagues of Liga BBVA, Bundesliga, and the BPL, and um, it's actually a very, very good team, to be honest with you, we're going to go to the first place, Casillas, incredibly good keeper, although one or two mistakes that are... Just incredibly, oh, just frustrating. The balls were coming at him and just palm it away. But other than that, he's very, very good keeper. You know, diving saves and all sorts. The first centre back from the league BBA, Sergio Ramos, paid 65,000 coins for him. Very, very good. He's fast. He's strong. He's got good defending. 87 defending, 82 physical there, and 79 pace. Perfect for a centre back, in my opinion. You can't go wrong with him. The next centre back is going to be Varane, who has 76 pace, 83 defence, and 76 physical. Again, he was very, very similar to Ramos. Quick, strong. All you need in a centre back, and he, that'll, that'll probably be the main pairing I use in uh, League BBVA defences. Now, the next one is going to be a BPL centre back, and it's going to be, of course, Kishelny, my favourite. Oh, pretty much my favourite defender last FIFA and what's probably going to be my favourite defender this FIFA as well is so good 81 pace, 65 dribbling, 40 shot, 82 defending and 75 physical his defensive stats don't look amazing but he's still very 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 good and now the CDMs will go into and it's going to be Dayabe to get that chemistry up and uh, again I was surprised by him to be fair I just thought yeah it's going to be an average centre defensive mid to need him for chemistry but he turned out to be pretty decent he's so so strong and that strength helps him when he's running with the ball very very much and then the left mid thing finish off the BPL side is Podolski who managed to grab three goals in his five games for me and one assist he has 87 shots 74 pace that 74 pace was actually so so surprising I was expecting more than that but 69 physical on there as well and his first goal is going to be a penalty that he just managed to grab and I'm going to top that into the top left hand corner perfect for him and then the next goal is to move into it it's a pretty weird one quite a weird angle you don't really see those going that often anymore but that will match a sneak past the goalkeeper and into the back of the net now for the third and final goal for Podolski, a lovely little shimmy turn and then just simple power shot into the back of net. That was going all day, every day. So guys, do remember to drop in the comment section as well what teams you want me to see and what price range. It could be Russian League for 20k or stuff like that, let me know. But Bender is the centre defensive mid for the next half of the Bundesliga side. And let's see, he's got some decent little stats, not really that quick. But uh, in-game, he was very, very good defensively. I didn't lose a game with this team. I played out of the five, didn't lose one, won every single one. Aubameyang on the right mid spot. He managed to grab one goal in the ten games according to this, but he managed to just grab up score like five or six um, when I've not been disconnected from games, of course. And, uh, yeah, that is why. But 95 pace is so, so good. That pace, just the burst of pace when you hold that right trigger and then, you know, we can score any angle, left or right foot. Those are going in all the time. I'll take them. And now the cam, I have to go and buy a Gert, so for 28,000 coins, I definitely recommend if you can afford him now, go and buy him because his price is going to go up because he's so, so good. He, his stats don't look absolutely amazing, other than, you know, he's dribbling, decent pace, decent shot, I guess. But, God, he's so good in game. He was scoring the majority of the goals. Gert, so just look at that outside the box, chilling. Just a simple shot outside the box going in. You can so know nicely in the penalty area's weak foot. And that one's gone into the back of the net as well. His third goal. Goals, uh, little, we'll see a little bit of skill around the keeper and then lovely just finesse it round. He's, all his goals were so nice and so slick and linked up nicely together and the final one is just a simple rebound to finish it off. But other than that, he's an incredibly good player. Go and pick him up if you can afford him at the moment. The next one is going to be the first striker. He's going to be a non-shiny rare. I was recommended to use him. I went to give him a go and he managed to grab three goals and two assists in his five games for me. 75 pace on him, 79 shots, 79 dribbling, 73 physical and 77 passing. I wasn't really sure what the fuss was going to be about and it took a while to get going with him. But after that, you know, you can see his little pace burst is just so, so useful. I'm still not sure to this day whether he's left or right footed because he managed to score on both feet. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he's left footed. But uh, anyway, yeah, you know, he's a decent little player. He's incredibly cheap. He's one of those little budget players that you should go and buy because, you know, he's cheap and he's good. That's all you want. And he scores a nice little chip to finish it off for him. Before we go into the final player, my favourite player on FIFA 14 and what's possibly and probably going to be my favourite player this FIFA as well, Molapa, there he is. 84 pace, 67 shot, 5 goals in 5 games for him. That record would have been better if I hadn't disconnected from a few games and then 2 assists as well. 80 physical. Molapa's just the best player ever, guys. 
He's so quick, he's got a quick burst of pace, and then that strength just pushes him off. Lovely goal there, first time taking that one, and then, you know, this one's, of course, going to be whipped in for a cross. Lovely, he's just chilling in the middle of the area, and his keeper couldn't quite get to that, and that managed to go in. This one's a little bit lucky, nothing absolutely out of the ordinary for him, but he's, you no, know, the most of the shots are going to go in, hitting the target, making the keeper work. Lovely header here, no idea how he did that at the back of his head, but it went in. No complaints from me, he's just... Malap is just going to be so, so good. I'm, look at that. On half volley outside the box, and that's curled in. I'm going to be doing a little play review, guys, on that. So let me know if you want to see the review on him. I'm looking forward to doing it. But anyway, guys, do I have enjoyed the video? Remember, 700 likes in the video would be absolutely amazing. Do remember to subscribe to me if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.